Okay, so I'm going to be explaining the yellow part of the diagram today. So to begin with, what we have is we have three valves up top. We have a solenoid ball valve, we have a relief valve, and then we have a hand valve bringing oxygen in to our O2 storage right here, which is connected to our cryo cooler. So we're going to cool down our oxygen in our storage, and we need to catch the ice in this ice catcher right here because the crystals can damage the membrane in the system, okay? And then so after cooling the oxygen and catching it, then we're gonna go to another solenoid ball valve, which is connect, we have, this solenoid ball valve right here is going to bring oxygen in from this heat exchanger up here, connected over here in the green section. So we'll have oxygen coming in through this valve valve, meeting the oxygen coming from the O2 storage that's been cooled and the ice crystals caught. So we meet right here at this junction. And then we come to another solenoid ball valve, which then goes to a forward pressure regulator. So just regulates the pressure and we're gonna go forward. And so here, once we go to the regulator, then we're gonna branch. So we can either vent out through this relief valve right here, or we can go into this heat exchanger, which is gonna mix with coolant that comes from this mass flow control coming from the pink section of the diagram. So in this heat exchanger, we have oxygen coming in and coolant in the heat exchanger. And then we're gonna push our coolant out and then we're gonna go up and over to some other part of the diagram. And then our oxygen is gonna come out of the heat exchanger and it's gonna come to this filter. And we're gonna filter the oxygen and then we're gonna send it over to this pink section through another solenoid relief um, another solenoid ball valve to this fuel cell stack. 